I start with mixed martial arts, always my mindset was like, anything I'm doing, I want to be the best. I never said I want to become a UFC world champion. I say I will become a UFC world champion. Early this morning, when you knocked on my door, a new era begins. Somewhere Max Holloway may have a smile on his face. They think I'm an old era, but I'm not done. The first man to knock out Max Holloway, El Matador Ilya Topuria, sends Holloway to the Shadow Realm in the third round. This dude not only knocked out Holloway, but he also put Volkanovski to sleep, back to back in the same year. That's like dropping the two toughest guys at the bar, on a Friday night, and walking out like it's nothing. The power Ilya's packing in those hands is borderline criminal, and you've got to love the way he talks, and the way he fights. He's the kind of guy who throws gasoline on a fire just to make sure it burns brighter. In the first 10 seconds, he straight up walked to the center of the octagon and pointed to the ground, daring Max to trade blows with him. Thank God Max didn't take that bait. Otherwise, we'd be talking about a one-way ticket to La La Land. Nobody trades punches with Ilya and comes out unscathed. He's too clean with his boxing and his power? Ridiculous. Honestly, he might be the best boxer we've ever seen in the UFC. And before all the Dustin Poirier fans go crazy in the comments, hear me out. Ilya's hands aren't just fast and heavy. His ground game's got depth too. It's like he's downloaded every fighter's moveset and has the cheat codes. Now, let's talk about how he put Holloway to bed. Max got caught switching stances while Ilya took a massive step forward, faked a jab, and pulled down Max's right hand. It was like Ilya was distracting Max with a magic trick, and then, BAM, a right hand straight down the center, and Max's legs went wobbly. Max tried his best to cover up, but Ilya's combos were relentless. The dude was targeting the head, the body, and even the liver with those shots. Poor Max was in survival mode, but credit to him for finding ways to escape from the cage a few times. It almost looked like he was trying to Houdini his way out, and when they both fired off their power shots, Ilya cleverly stepped on Max's foot to keep him in place. It's like the old, hey look over there trick, but way more violent. Max tries to counter with a knee, which lands a bit low, and it almost looks like a bad bet to double down on. He extends his arms to push Ilya away, and wham! Ilya lands a textbook left hook that drops Max for good. That's how you close the show, folks. You got a feel for Max. No one likes seeing a legend get put out like that, but it's his style that makes him so exciting. He willingly jumps into the fire and trades punches like he's playing Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Up until now, no one has ever knocked him out cold, but Ilya Tapuria just changed the game. Ilya's not even 30 yet and he's already got the attention of every Spanish celebrity out there. If he fights in Spain next, the whole country's gonna go nuts. And honestly, I wouldn't want to be Volkanovski heading into that rematch, because Ilya's only getting better, and Volk isn't getting any younger. It's like the UFC's version of a game of chess, and Ilya's out here playing with a cheat sheet. When we talk pound for pound, I still have Islam Makachev at number one, but Ilya's knocking on that door at number two. Who else is as well-rounded as this guy? Sure, Alex Pereira's got his title defenses, and John Jones is still in the mix, but when you compare their skills, Ilya's versatility stands out. At the end of the day, this was a battle between the old guard and the new breed. Max put up a great fight, but the new generation's here, and they're taking over. Unless Ilya goes full GSP or John Jones and starts beating every future contender, it's only a matter of time before the next up-and-comer takes him down too. If you enjoyed the breakdown, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. I'll catch you all in the next video, and trust me, you won't want to miss it.